What was only a vision four years ago is now a reality. The Ted Williams Tunnel will open to commercial traffic later this year. This accomplishment is the greatest milestone so far in our journey to bring transportation and economic benefits to the entire region. We're proud of the steps we've taken with you to reach the light at the end of the tunnel. This past September, Ted Williams, the man known as the greatest hitter who ever played the game of baseball, was invited by Governor William Will to tour the tunnel that would bear Ted's name. Right, so we thank you for being here. Uh, the easiest and best way for me to explain my feeling here today is that it's forever or for a long time, going to weld my name ah, there you go. <laughs> to, this, to this great project. The tile that bears Ted's name is just one of 1.1 million tiles that are placed by hand on the tunnel walls. Forever a baseball fan, Ted made reference to the game that made him a New England sports legend. It's a home run with the bases loaded and a grand slam for Governor Will. <laughs> it was a time to celebrate. But there is much work to be done to get ready for the tunnel's opening day. We're going to open the tunnel to commercial traffic in December of 1995. If you're on a bus or in a taxi coming from the South Shore near South Bay, you will take this road through South Boston to the tunnel's entrance. The tunnel approaches on both sides of the harbor are now 90% complete. In South Boston, the last barrier between the underwater tubes and the land-based tunnel has been removed. And the last sections of roof are in place. At Logan Airport, work continues on the northern approach to the tunnel and the connection between the underwater steel tubes and the concrete land-based tunnel. And on each side of the harbor, fans and machinery are being installed in two ventilation buildings. Before all traffic can use the tunnel, it needs to be connected to the Massachusetts Turnpike. The Mass Pike must be extended under the Fort Point Channel and through South Boston to the tunnel's South Boston entrance. In this area of the project, we were faced with many engineering challenges. By using innovative construction techniques such as precast concrete tunnel sections and a reusable casting basin, we've saved $200 million. During this past year, utility relocation has been proceeding in downtown areas to move utility lines out of the path of the new underground expressway. Two of these contracts have been completed. A gas line was moved in the financial district and a new sewer line was installed between South Station and Chinatown. By using a tunneling method which pushes pipe underground instead of cutting open the streets, utility relocation work was completed with fewer impacts on traffic and pedestrians. Construction of the first underground walls for the central artery is underway near Fulton Street between Quincy Market and the entrance to the Callahan Tunnel. We're using an innovative construction technique called hydromilling to build these walls. It's quieter than conventional machinery and creates less vibration. And since the hydromill mixes the dirt with water to carry it away, there is less dust than with conventional digging. While we've been doing all this work, traffic continues to flow and pedestrians are able to enjoy this vital downtown area. With federal approval now in hand, Final design is proceeding on the Charles River Crossing and its connection to Interstate 93, Storrow Drive, and Route 1. 
the new river crossing includes a cable-stayed bridge that will provide a dramatic entrance to the city from the north. One of the most accident-prone stretches of highway in Massachusetts was eliminated last year when the temporary loop ramps which connect Route 1 with I-93 in Charlestown were opened. With the removal of the old elevated ramps in City Square and the shifting of traffic into the tunnels, Charlestown regained several acres of open space and a new City Square park. This milestone, along with the opening of the Ted Williams Tunnel, is a preview of the promise of the Central Artery Project. With each construction milestone we reach in partnership with you, we get closer to re-knitting Boston's neighborhoods and to providing the transportation infrastructure that will secure the region's economic future.